Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick little video on how to use and well how to use the example project for uh, the Unity Fitbit. Uh, so what you can do is you're going to go and grab your clone link and I use Sorcery so I'm just going to clone it in Sorcery. Make a new folder somewhere. Clone it to it shouldn't take very long because it's not a very big set of files um, so then you will open up and you'll have to go into the assets folder and open up the uh, example scene and it's gonna make all your stuff and compile your scripts uh, the reason I'm making this is because there's kind of a pain with uh, Unity itself, it doesn't seem to want to keep my script on the Fitbit color object. So what you do is you just go and you grab the Fitbit API script, put it back on, and you're good to go. That's literally all you should have to do. If for some reason it says you can't find, uh, or you have like a big error about reflection stuff, uh, you want to go pro, you want to go file, build settings, player settings and make sure this is on .NET 2.0. If it's on subset, it won't work. Uh, you have to have it on 2.0. So after that, you hit play. I'm gonna have to clear my refresh token because I've already used it before. And this is gonna pop up. And you just double click on this area here and go back to Unity, paste it, hit enter. And it's gonna grab all your information It'll actually, it, there is one other step, it should make you log into Fitbit, since I've already done it, it must have like a cookie, and remember that I've already done it. So that should be the extra step in there. Uh, so, yeah, so you're gonna see a bunch of debug text. Uh, if you scroll through it, you'll be able to see, like we got the refresh token, we parsed it, we store it, and that's the reason why we clear it. Uh, we store it inside uh, Unity's player prefs right now, just because it's quick and easy. Uh, yeah, so you can see, it'll tell you how many steps you got, uh, and how many dis how much distance you got, all that kind of stuff. It'll go through and grab it all. Uh, if you need to change other stuff, you're going to have to change your URL, and that's about it. So, yeah, from that, like, from then on, if you've already done it once, when you do get Fitbit data, it'll actually just do it it won't make you log in it's only when you uh, ref like if you clear a refresh token or sometimes if it's been too long then uh, then you'll have to re log in but that's about it so I hope you guys enjoy this and that it helps you guys uh, build some awesome Fitbit unity games good luck and uh, I'd love to see what you guys make with this